Samba for me is um, probably the one of the weakest dances of most couples in Latin, together with the Paso Doble, that you have least understanding of. And I'd, like, I didn't hear Fabio's total lecture the other day, I only heard the beginning. Um, it's all about movement, dynamic, dynamics, and not taking into consideration the ability of our partner, meaning the lady. Most of you are not the perfect physical partnerships. Okay, so some of you have started when together and danced together for 20 years. You started together when you were uh, 8, 9, 10. It doesn't happen too much anymore, maybe, but there is. And maybe physically, you're not really suited. So you have to make, maybe teach you mistakes sometimes to make it look correct. Um, most boys, because everybody else runs, I think, okay, we got to run as well. I have an example from the competition in Fordsheim a um, couple of years ago. Now, top class competition, seven couple final, introduction dance, samba. First couple come out, promenade run, zigzag, da da da, di 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 di, two steps on the other side of the floor. Second couple, same thing. Looks like they came from the same formation team. Either from that runs first or the zigzag first. F five couples, top level couples, exactly the same thing. I was standing with a colleague and we thought like, don't they look? Don't they see what the other couples are doing? Maybe six couples came on the floor. The German champions that just started together at the time Marius and Nina. I'm not working with this couple, by the way, so I'm not uh, trying to push this couple. They did something completely different. Something rhythmical, da, 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 going into roles, a contrast to everybody else. The judges, we were going on to the floor judging. We nearly stood up and applauded them. We couldn't do that, but that was the feeling. And the seven couple back to do, 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 do see how much we can move. And the partner at the end of it, not really coping with it. Now, like I said, a lot of you have the knowledge. A lot of the lectures you heard this week or information you got in the lessons, you heard before. But if you don't do anything with it, there's no point in, then you can't really be upset, be upset with your results. Now, uh, just to prove one thing, years ago, when I lived in England, when I still was dancing actively, it's about 20 years ago when I still danced in juvenile, no, it's a joke. Um, I talked to an examiner from one of the teaching societies. He just came back from an examination tour in the Far East, like Thailand, Malaysia, at the time they didn't have any couples, not any good ones at the time. And that was the top results that year in the examinations. They knew more than anybody else. They couldn't read the book back to front. But they couldn't teach it or they couldn't, they couldn't dance. So just that you have the knowledge is how you utilize it, what you do with it. I'm not trying to create professors here. You have to do showers on the floor. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about framework and awareness of what the partner needs. Um, so Lars, when I do promenade to prom counter promenade run again, I said in Norway now, I've done a group classes there sometimes. It's the last time I'm going to talk about it. Come back another year later and then I'll talk about it again. Now, I have one couple that's going to show you. They are the I used to call them the um, South Russian Express train, yes? 
Anton und Natalia. Okay. Thank you. Now, this couple physically, even if Anton forgets the, his partner and thinks that she can move as much as him, she has found a way to cope with it. Doesn't necessarily always look the best, yes? We're now getting it together. But physically, you see, the length of leg is not far off. She's got long legs, he's got long legs. Some of you don't take into the consideration that your partner has got these long legs and your legs finishes under your arms. Now, you're going to show us promenade to counter promenade runs and into some pivots. Now, this is what you see a lot especially the first few rounds in a competition, and that presentation dance, or dances, I saw in Fort Sam a couple of years ago. Go. We're going to do it without music. And. Okay. Do we recognize this? Don't clap too much, because uh, it's quite, still quite good even if it was uh, done without control, and uh, you see, she's very good. Uh, she managed to cope with this. She didn't look too bad. He looked like it. He's gonna have a heart attack, a heart attack any second. Now, do it one more time, and then, boys, can you see where he is placing his hand on her back all the time? Check it out. Still like you used to dance up till a year ago. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight. Okay, thank you. Now, girls, how, how many of you recognize this? How many fights have you had with your partner because, thank you, Anton because he is doing this to you. He's up here, sometimes giving you a massage, I mean, sticking the thumb into your neck, pushing you off balance. Then on the next note, the next part is even worse. Here is normally this part, then at the end, it's not the case so much here because she's quite tall. But if you have a partner down here, and you do this, um, do we sort of recognize this little problem we had in practice? <laughs> Did you do something with it? You're a good boy, huh? you, see, you go like this. A lot of you have had some interesting discussions, I'm sure. Now, on the first step and the fourth step on the promenade to counter promenade run, it's not possible to put, to put the hand in the correct position. Because the lady is not in position yet, I'll show you, in the correct position. Here, one, two. I'm not doing one. One, now, at this, when I turn, I can place the hand in, in the correct position. Now. When we get, go into the fourth step, this is even more important, because here is where it happens most mistakes, where this is happening. Okay, and one. If the man can think about placing the lower part of the arm on here. I have not turned yet. Now, I rot keep rotating, bringing the lady across. At this point, when I go into the fifth step, the hand is in the correct position. So, one so here, so you also you can see it, this side. Now I turn, it's in the correct position. If I place the hand, 
if I do this, boom, it's too high. When I now lift my elbow, well, I have to stand a tiptoe to, uh, because it's a slightly tall for me. Okay, this happens. So be more awareness of the positioning, use of the elbow. Because the connection point is here. The hand, if I do this, I'm not connected. Most of the time you see this. One, two, three. Not so much on the first one, but the second definitely one, two, three. Three, three. Girls, uh, could you please make sure when you go home that the guys understand this? And one, I'm placing this. I'm thinking about my elbow is up. Now that I place the hand, we into the third step. Now the same thing again. I do a forward walk turning. Awareness of where my elbow is not lower than my hand, continue to rotate, and now we are in hopefully in the correct position. Now, Anton, you try it one more time, just slow motion. And one, two, three, stop. Three. No bananas on the back, please. Yeah? And go, one, two, three. I'm going to do that one more time, um, Anton, the second one. Make sure the hand is in position when you go into the second step. One, two, three. Close the hand, that would be good. Thank you. One, two, three. Now, you see her shoulder line is now correct. When you did the mistake, it looks like this. Do the other one one more time. Then you place the hand too high and keep it there. And open your hand like you half of the boys here do. And one, two, stop. That's quite good actually. Because normally, normally you do something like this. Yeah. And one, two, three. You see what happens to the girl? I mean, she's like nearly falling over. Can you do it the other direction, Anton, from here? For the benefit of the uh, other side. Even if it's a lot of standard dancers on that side, but... Uh, see. <clears throat> Thank you. Shoulder up. And go. And. One, two, three. No, correct. Take it down. One, two. You see her position now. She's under no stress. Okay, thanks. <laughs> now, you see, I find it much easier to teach ten dance couples because they understand the concept. And sometimes it might be more rigid, but you tell them something and it's like click. Latin couples that only dance Latin their whole life, it, uh, you need to sort of educate them also in standard. So maybe you should start to send you some Latin couples, uh, Aziz. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, we talk about the frame. So the position of the arm, this part. Now, from when we go into the fourth step, now, can you continue to remember who's got the inside of the circle at this point? It's me. I continue at this point to rotate and bring the lady past. It is from the fourth to the fifth step that we bring the lady in front. Fourth, fifth, she's already in front of me. It is not four, five, six. 
or so six we end side by side where do we go now and one I'm gonna go forward she can't crawl over me from this point so I have to be in I have to be in this position to be able to go straight forward one two three and if it's one, two, three, drop the elbow. I can't lead her. One, two, three. Now, zigzag. One, two, three. That's very extreme, but um, I'm just making the step pattern that I see a lot of you do. Um, can you show it one more time from there? And stop on the fourth step. Seven, eight. Correct. Like. One, two, three. Go. One, continue to rotate. Bring her in front of you. Three, go. Four. Well, she's side by side now. Do it one more time, uh, Anton. From here, one. Bring, bring her more across body. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Natalia helped him a little bit now. You see now they're in the correct position to be able to continue, go, and one, two, three. He didn't need now to go one across. Like most of the uh, express train versions that we see when you go just think about distance. Well, you always end up in front of the lady. Can you do that one time? Just you go as much as you can. So from this side, you have to go across. Seven, eight, and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Well, he, he couldn't do the mistake now. <laughs> but normally, this happens. One, two, three. Let's do it from the um, one, two, three, one, two, stop. No, be, be on the uh, more forward, Anton. Three. Now he has to go towards her. Go. And one, two, three. Still looks quite good, but um, he doesn't manage to do it bad enough anymore. Very good. Thank you. Now, so we talked about the positioning of the arm. We talked about how we lead the lady across, okay? Oh, with the positioning from here. One, two, three. Sorry. <laughs> that was the latest Russian uh, folk dance. Now, boys, most of you start this step too early. You have to coordinate it with the straightening of this leg. And then you can step. Most of you do it at the same time. That's also why you have to go across because the lady is in your way. So from here, when I'm straightening, I bring the lady across, then I can step forward. And some of you are so busy with yourself, forgetting about the girl, and here is when this disaster starts to happen. And one, two, three. Have a good look again. One, two, three. Now, I go forward, walk, to, turning across the lady's line. One, two, three. I rotate to the right, straighten my leg, and one. So my seventh step and my first step is exactly the same. So when I start in this position, this step and this should be the same, which it's normally not. Because the, the boys has not done what they should do. Now, we're going to try from this position, bam, to add this, I'll lead the lady past and then into a pivot. Now, 
Here is a lot of boys who do not understand what the lady need. Sorry guys, it's not, uh, don't want to make your life difficult and create these horrendous partners that's gonna, I'm not gonna use that word, uh, be horrible to you now for the next month. But I suppose you deserve it. So <laughs> one, two. If you can accent this step now, as you go into this and make a longer step to so get in front of the lady. So there is, when I go in here, I create an elastic effect. I leave the lady. When I go back again, I bring her forward. I do not go push at this point. So I go boom and return. And I'm in front of her and I lead her forward when I move back. But if you do that with a certain impact, you have to catch her. So you can't do this, which uh, Anton tried earlier. <laughs> Boom. She's going to fall over. You can do as much as nearly. It's dangerous. You're probably going to hit your head in the wall in a second, but nearly as much as you want, as long as you catch the lady. Boom. Action, reaction. Now, can you try to do it like you did the first time? We just leave her alone. Just do two, two promenades and then directly in. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Was that the bad version? That would look pretty good anyway, but uh, you saw he, he was catching her too late, so they got too far away from each other. Okay, do the good one. And. One, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. You see, she was traveling in less. Boom. Do it from just the last version, yes? And one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now, when the lady go one, Natalia didn't do that, but have a ripple reaction that comes from the man you see a lot of girls go one da da all on their own this happens one da da one just release a little bit yes exactly where, where it hurts like the whiplash accident yes <laughs> da, da, and one two three that's because i am going the opposite direction and one two three ah one two three It's all my work. She's just reacting. So this has to be short. Vroom. Can you try that? See if you are as good as I am. It should be better. <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Vroom. So two more minutes, Asis. Two more minutes. I was told to stop, but uh, um, now, pivots. Now, I don't know where this comes from. This is where I should send uh, all the Latin couples to uh, Aziz. And uh, Aziz, next year, could you teach a few lessons? Just, just pivot lessons, yes? All right. So, from this position here, boom, da, 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 ah. I'm not sure if this some influence of your national folk dance. But, ah, and then we start to pivot. So basically, we stop after the first, first step. One, two, three, ah, boom, boom, boom. Anton does it better than me, probably, because he used to do this to perfection. Can you show that um, version from 2011? And one, two, three, ah, one, two, three. Well, do that one more time. I'm sure you see two, three. Ah, uh, one, two, three. The accent should be on the first step. And I continue, I don't stop. One, two, three. One, two, three. Thank you, darling. Let me lead. <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. Boom. If not, you have to stop 
and then is the accent is on the second step. Now, you try uh, the good one, the improved one. Seven, eight. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Understand? It's continuous. And you ac just do it from there. Accent it stronger. Seven, eight. And one, two, three. Quick, quick, slow. Boom. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you, Anton and Natalia. I um, hope, like I said, a lot of you know this from before, but uh, it's not about just having the knowledge, but you have to use it. You're not going to have an exam later on today. You're going to show us on the floor next week and the next year that you have used the information to your benefit and you got at least one more round next time. <laughs>